Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on MVC architecture. Model View Controller or MVC is a software design pattern for developing web applications. MVC is popular as it isolates the application logic from the user interface layer and supports separation of concerns. In this session, you will learn all about MVC architecture. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. Today, we will be learning about the MVC architecture in detail, its components as well as its uses. The operational purpose of all the devices which we use in our everyday life relies mainly on the interaction with the users, for which they have a user interface built inside them. This user interface makes the devices user-friendly and easy to use. The main components of a user interface include buttons, icons, dialog box, menu bar, toolbar, etc. It makes the communication of humans with devices possible. A common example can be seen in the operating system's graphical user interface such as Windows. If we dive much deeper into this topic, then we will get to know that these user interfaces are developed and designed using a software design pattern known as MVC. This is what we'll be learning about today. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. At first, we will learn what is system design pattern. Moving ahead, we will get to know what is MVC. And after that, we will understand the MVC architecture. Moving ahead, we will get to know all the components of MVC architecture. After that, we will take a look at all the advantages of MVC architecture and at last, all the disadvantages of MVC architecture. So let's get started with our first topic for today. What is system design pattern? So a system design pattern represents a general design addressing the design related problems occurring in object oriented systems. It does the job of describing the problem, providing its solution and defining when to apply that solution. Furthermore, providing a glimpse on all the consequences of using that solution as well. Now let's understand what is MVC. MVC stands for Model View Controller and is used for the development of user interfaces. It eases the development process by partitioning the implemented program logic into three parts, which are Model, View and Controller which remain interconnected with each other in order to separate the information being presented and accepted from the users. It separates the presentation layer and the business logic from one another. Now let us understand the MVC architecture. The architecture of MVC consists of the working of its components and contributing to the functioning of user interfaces. At first comes the component which is view. This component is responsible for all the presentation related functions. All the display related activities that you see on your device happens because of this component only. In short, the view component produces views based on the data provided by the model component. It then processes that data and provides or displays the processed output to the user through the screen. Now comes controller. This component deals with or handles all the interaction of the user in the application and basically operates as the request handler. When the user provides the input whether through keyboard, mouse or through the buttons, the controller component then directs this user provided input to the model and view components in order to change or update the state as per the user's requirements. Let's take an example. Suppose you are reading an article on your device. When you want to scroll up or down or even change the page number, you provide the input by clicking on the scroll bar or the button for page number the controller will then take this input and inform the model component that you want to scroll through the page or change the displaying page. The model will then update its state and then it will send that updated data to the view component and the view will update and display the final output for the input that was given by the user and display it on the screen. And at last comes the model component. So this component basically handles all the data related matters and formulates to store them. It represents all the data that is being transferred and is responsible for maintaining that data. The model component being connected to the database, all the data related actions such as addition or retrieval of data happens in this component only. When the controller informs the model about the input provided by the user, it requests the model 
to process the action required for that input. As the controller never communicates with the database by itself, it does so with the help of model, which then communicates with the database and provides the needed data to the controller. So all three of them depends on one another in order to operate efficiently. So this was all about the process and functioning of MVC architecture. Now let's take a look at all its advantages. The MVC architecture offers extensible and frictionless testing option as all the objects and classes are independent of each other in this architecture. It offers full HTML and URL controls while designing a web application. It provides a clear and easily understandable program logic by partitioning it into three elements, namely model, view and controller, thus leading a better way for the high complexity to be avoided. It provides powerful URL mapping and routing. And at last, it has the major advantage of working well with the web-based applications. Now let's take a look at the disadvantages of this architecture as well. The complexity of MVC architecture is very much high, thus making the maintainability of the codes quite difficult. Due to its high complexity, this architecture is not suitable at all for all the smaller applications. In the view component, the data is always accessed in an inefficient way. This architecture is difficult to reuse and change the model. For the implementation of this architecture, the developer must be capable of working with multiple technologies at once. And at last, the maintenance of all the complex codes in the controller component is very much difficult. So the MVC architecture seems difficult but is not that hard to understand but in every developer should know about this while developing an application as this architecture focuses on the most important function of an application which is communication of the users with their applications. Therefore, aiding with the ease of designing and developing the user interfaces in their applications. Overall, the MVC architecture provides the way for the applications to be much more user friendly. Meanwhile, easing the burden of the developers and saving their time in terms of finding a way of making the applications to be more interactive and also keeping the testing much more extensible and frictionless. So that was all for today guys. Thank you and have a nice day. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.